Well, welcome to a more of a late night unboxing video for me. I just got in from work and happened to find a box out on my doorstep I wasn't expecting for another day or so. This came in from Right Stuff today. Uh, two releases. One, a... Well, they're both, I would say, slightly... Un, one is slightly uncommon. The other, probably much more uncommon. Maybe more people don't quite know about it. Uh, but uh, the releases of from Funimation. I don't have many friends. I'm gonna try to not butcher this too bad. I believe it's Haganai, H-A-G-A-N-A-I. I know the I is pronounced E, but uh, we'll just, like I said, the title, I don't have many friends. And then we also have a more obscure, much more obscure one, I should say, from Made in Japan. It is the release of Love Love. So let's go ahead and slice into here and check out what we have. Also, would like to say right away that I'm very happy uh, that uh, I see posted on uh, Anaplex of America's Facebook page today that they're getting in stock now the first run for sword art online so looking forward to the limited edition blu-ray showing up here pretty shortly i'm guessing within a week if they're getting them in now ah, more sticky pads i was hoping to get some more of these again and we've got invoice the garden of words this might be something interesting worth trying to find later and see what it's about okay so here are our two titles for this video and let's go into this one first this is love love and let me kind of read over the synopsis uh, basically it's said that heaven and hell can be the same place depending on your situation and Natao Ozumi is learning the lesson the hard way. At 17 years old, he's working on the set of Cosmopolitan Prayers, or Cos Prayers for short, one of the hottest TV soaps on the air, and the girl of his dreams, Natsumi Megumi, is playing the lead. The problem, as much as he wants to start a relationship with her, he keeps getting romantically intercepted by the other cute girls in the show. It's not like they're just trying to stop them from hooking up. They seem to be interested in the cute young man who's running the behind-the-scenes production camera, but it's not the biggest twist in the show because unknown to everyone except the show's producer, o Ozumi isn't just the, cam the camera operator, he's also the writer of the show. So what do you do when you're able to put any words you want into the mouth of the girl you love, but you're contractually obligated to put similar things between the lips of the girls that love you? So like I said, this is a release from uh, Made in Japan. And we'll go ahead. I have not gotten one of their titles before, so it'll be interesting to see if this is just kind of a basic budget release like you get from Sentai most of the time, or if maybe they'll surprise me and there might be a small little booklet of some sort in here. Uh, and I guess, no, <laughs> having just opened it, I'll kind of give you a quick look at the cover here. And there is no reverse cover art. And disc one. And disc two. This is the complete uh, release of about 13 episodes. And short and sweet on that one. I don't have much more to say about it. I've not watched the uh, series yet, so uh, just kind of interested to see what it's about and how it plays out. It was a cheaper release because I picked it up on a in-stock sale from Right Stuff. So you know, twenty some bucks for a whole series, not bad to see what it's about. We'll move on to. I don't have many friends. Uh, quick go over the synops synopsis here. Yozara is an abrasive yet loudmouth 
whose only friend at school is imaginary. She knows she's difficult, which makes her better off than Kodaka, a new transfer student who picked up an undeserved bad reputation the second he stepped on campus. Inspired by their shared status as social catastrophes, the two loners unite and start the Neighbors Club, an organization dedicated to finding other misfits and making friends. And in no time flat, a third member joins their ranks, Sena, a pretty, popular rich girl who annoys Yozora to no end. With Kodoka in the middle of the chaos, the brash brunette and the blonde boy magnet go round and round, even as the Neighbors Club begins to grow. Hopefully the girls can get past their rivalry, because sometimes the friendships you're looking for are right in front of you, and sometimes the best friends are the friends you never even wanted. And this is the limited edition release, and for some who have asked, uh, basically, yeah, you get an art box with this, you're essentially just paying five bucks more for an art box, which we, you know, if you want it, great. If not, I believe there's the... 30, uh, 37, 36 dollar release, which should just be the first season within the one gem case. So, um, here's the back little leaflet that was on here. And we'll get a quick look at the art box. side on top and not really much to see down here This is the Blu-ray on this, I should say, within this gem case. Sorry, I'm kind of spacing out here. Uh, yeah, I did just get home from work, so mentally somewhat fried right now. I do apologize for that. And let's look at the DVD release side. Inside art, and really not much to see with the discs on either one of these. Pretty basic, single color, which I'm used to from Funimation for silk screenings anymore. And survey card. Now, uh, let me ask some of the others of you that watch, uh, have you tried registering your cards online lately? Because I've had trouble getting the address here to work with the survey. Maybe they've fixed it by now. I haven't tried in the last month or so. It's been a little bit since I bought a Funimation release. So uh, I'll try this out later on and hopefully I can get this registered. I have won the drawing three different times before so uh, hopefully would like to of course yeah, well, we all would but would like to hopefully win this again sometime and see what else they have available anywho thanks once again for tuning in and a uh, couple neat releases i think i'm going to go watch uh, i don't have many friends now go check it out so we'll see you later for another unboxing sometime